Only in Canada, everyone. Let's see what we can get into with Life with Bilsif's YouTube channel. How you doing today? Welcome to Life with Bilsif at work. I changed the headlights the other day and one is a different color than the other. So we gotta take it back apart and warranty them. Put another headlight in it. See if that takes care of it. So the first thing you wanna do is remove this piece right here to get the grill out to get out the headlight. Frank. If I had to do this job forever, I'd put a bullet in my head. Game face, bro. So these are just little pop pins that come out, which have been out like too many times now because I've been running Amazon lights, which you gotta change once a year and this and that and the other thing. What you doing, Bill? I'm changing that defective headlight, Steve, that we put in the other day. Oh, yes. Because, you know, who wants two different color headlights? Not me. How about you, bud? Did you want two different color headlights? Nope. Come on, get out of there, you son of a dick. So I don't know if anybody knows, a lot of these are gonna laugh at me when I tell you how these work, but they have like an inner and an outer, you just pull out this, it releases this part here, and makes it come out. When this goes in, it spreads it apart, holds it in. They break really easy, so you just gotta be gentle with them. Just ask Steve, he breaks them all the time. Right, Steve? That's what we do around here, bud. We break sh sometimes. You sound insane. Do you realize that? Other times you just shake your head at somebody else who's trying to fix it. That's right. Like me. Careful! Easy. So there we go. Now that's off. What we gotta do is pull out this, these 410 mils. And then there's some ignorant clips down here on the grill that you gotta squeeze together so you don't bust it. So they're 10 mil, and I'm not into hand bombing, so as Steve knows, so I gotta look for my El Gunno. One, two, three, four, there we go. Four of them on that. Then like I said, you gotta release some clips down there. I just normally take these here, and you give them a little squeeze. Now there's four of them, and I broke one of them. So I have three of them, that's about it. And I'll probably break this one too, because, oh, I didn't break it either. Well, good, Jim. I'll show them to you when I get them out, so you know what's really going on. Come on, baby. Girl. There we go. That's what the clips look like. And you just squeeze them together right here and it releases them. So now on the headlight, now this is a 2007 Chevy Silverado, just so you know. You got a 10 mil here, you got a 10 mil here, and you got a 10 mil right inside here. But you don't have to take this all the way out. Let's go in, find it, and just loosen it. Don't take it out, because the headlight just slides into it. It's like a pincher. Pinches the old headlight ruski. And other than that, you just pull down on the headlight, Pull out, pull down, get it out from the fender, and then just slide it up. You wanna push down to get it behind the fender and out from the fender. So let's get this out of here, and we'll slap another one in there, and we'll see if we fix the problem. Got them? Okay, so there's a the ball of the music right there, and I'll show you the pack. Hilly D Performance Bulb. So those are the balls we're using. www.goalperformance.com, Captain. Goalperformance.com, Captain. So we're gonna grab another one and we're gonna stick in the hole and we're gonna see what happens. Is it gonna work this time, Kurt? He's not talking to me, he's camera shy. You camera shy, Kurt? Kurt's camera shy. Uh -huh. What happened? Is there a left and a right? No. <laughs> sure feels like it. Oh yeah, something's not right here. Oh, well that's why. Frick. Where's that little Allen key? So when you're installing these bobs, you gotta make sure they are supposed to sit a certain way. And in the headlight, it depends on your beam, but on the Chevy Silverado, they gotta sit this way with that facing up, just the way it reflects. So this thing is actually turnable with an Allen key. So you gotta figure out where you want it. Snug her up, Jim. This one was loose and that's why it wasn't tightening. There we go. Now we should be able to get her in. We might have to adjust it again once it's in because I'm not sure if it's in the right spot now, but we'll have to see. There we go. So now you just gotta look in and it's slightly on an angle. So we gotta straighten that up. And I'm just gonna unhook this headlight for now. Come over here with me. You gotta wear your bench. Well, you can leave that open if you want. That'd be perfect. Perfect. Thanks, bud. So we gotta look for that Allen key I just told you about, which is right there. See? Probably not, because I can't. It's right here. So we just wanna turn that loose. Not exactly the funnest thing to do, but if you want it to work right, you gotta do it. If you don't wanna blind people over. So once that's loose, you take a look inside and you just tweak her. Now we can tighten that back up. There we go. So that's all there is to that. Now we can just plug it in. Now when you're doing this, it's a universal plug. It goes either way, so always plug it in. And before you put it all back together, make sure you try it. Because you can have them on wrong and then it doesn't even come on. And it would just make you snap. So as you can see, I got it plugged in wrong. Because it didn't come on. So let's put this camera here. And we'll plug it in right. There you go. So now all we got to do now is just make sure. There we go. They match now. Before, this one over here was just dull, and this one was bright. So now they're in, and now they're bright. So there you go. That's all there is to putting a light bulb in. I'll leave the camera going here so you can see you put it back together, because that's what I do. Well, just so you know, 
make sure you're behind the that 10 mil bolt when you slide this back in. You probably should know if you are or not. Yep, we're good to go. So you slide that in like that, hold your tongue this way and that way. There we go. Here's that one. Well, just so you know, there's two ways of doing this too. You can actually remove the air box and all that crap to get in behind there to pull it out. Some of these trucks don't have a battery, but mine has a battery there. And if there wasn't a battery there, that freaking fill up for your squirter, still in the way. So I tried both ways. This is the easiest way. I find it takes a little extra time just to take the front end apart. It'd probably almost take that amount of time just to pull the air box out. So I would suggest just doing it this way. If somebody comments below and says, you don't have to do all that, then hey, you have at her, bud. I ain't pulling the air box and everything apart. I'd rather do it this way. If you have a self a Chevy Silverado and you're doing the headlight bulbs, which you might be because they're gonna put on this video, change the headlight bulbs, leave me a comment down below and let me know which way you did it. Cause I, I always wanna know, eh? If you did it my way or did it the awkward way? Tell me, where you always wanna know. But don't forget to subscribe, like it, the notification bell. If you would like this kind of stuff, why wouldn't you, right? There we go, that's all there is to it. He's done and the headlights work. So hopefully you enjoyed this video. Like I said, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and like. And don't forget to subscribe if you do. Other than that, love you all. Till next time, you know what to do for now.